Today I'm going to show you how to make an elf hat that can be used, elf hat, pixie hat, either Santa's elves or little forest gnomes or whatever you're interested in doing. To start out with, you need a couple of measurements. First, you're going to measure around your head like this or your child's head or for whomever you're making the, the hat and get a measurement there. Secondly, you're going to measure over the top of the head from about where you um, need the hat to land to about where you want it to land. Probably just right about at the ears, where the ears meet the head here. So those are your two measurements. For my kids, it's very easy. 20, 20 inches around the head and then 10 inches over the top. So I'm going to show you what we're going to do here is start out with sort of a basic pattern. For your 20 inches, of course you're going to divide that in half and add a little bit so that you're making half of the hat here. So I'm going to measure off 11 inches. And what that is, is that's the 20 inches around, divided in half so you get 10, super easy measurement, and then add one inch. That gives us enough room for our seam allowances and, and doesn't make the hat fit terribly snugly on the head. So I'm making mine 11 inches wide here. And then I'm going to measure off five inches um, just so I make sure, five and a half actually, let's do five and a half, just so I make sure this hat is going to be um, tall enough. And what you see here, I just sort of have made a bit of a cross here. Now we want to shape the hat because I want this to have kind of, kind of a particular shape. When I made the original hats with my kids, I made actually this felt um, as a pattern. I cut the whole thing out, made a shape, and then sewed it, tried it on my kids to make sure it would work and see where my hiccups were. So I have this actually as a, a pretty good pattern of where this should be. So I'm kind of laying it on here. Um, and really, I think this is going to work just fine, with the exception that I might pull this little ear covering piece over just a hair here. And this is where you kind of can feel free to um, to freehand it a little bit. If you if you want just a little bit of a point in your hat, more for like a pixie, you might do that. If you want a really big curve, you can do that. You can make it smaller. Whatever you're kind of wanting to do here, go for it. I strongly recommend that if you have access to just some very cheap fabric or some felt, you go ahead and cut it out, sew it, and try it on the child. See if it works um, and see if you like it. And from there you can make any any um, changes. But I am going to give this a shot about as is. And um, so I'm going to go ahead and start cutting my fabric out. Okay, as you can see I'm using an old curtain that I'm going to repurpose here. Which is kind of fun. Um, one thing I discovered when I made my uh, pattern here is that I, when I put the fold in the back, it didn't look as good because then once I turn it inside out, you had a seam right down the front. So, what you'll want to do is put the front of your pattern here on the fold, so no seam in front, the seam is in your back. I'm just going to set it sort of there on the edge and start tracing with the chalk so that then we can remove the pattern and cut it out a little bit, a little bit easier. And this is just kind of one of those things that makes life easier. Okay, we have the hat turned inside out, I've done some minimal pinning, and now we're just going to go ahead and sew it together. And now we'll do the same thing with the lining. Okay, we have a hat. And as I said before, you can actually just turn this inside out and call it good if you'd like. 
I'm going to show you how to do that though. First, we want to clip our ends so that when we turn it inside out, you don't have all this extra fabric stuck in your corners. Flip that. On this convex end, what we want to do is go ahead and notch it. So we will make little triangle, triangular cuts up here so that once you turn it inside out, the inside fabric won't bunch up. On the inside, this concave area, we're just going to snip because that will go the other direction when it's turned inside out. So snip around the concave, notch the convex. We're going to sew the lining to the outside of the hat now. So what I'm going to do is turn the lining um, right side out and um, leave the hat as is so that the right sides will be together. You don't have to poke the hood all the way out for this. All right, for, to sew these together, I'm gonna go ahead and just sew along the front edge and around, and I'm gonna stop there. Then I will turn the hat right side out, get it all fixed, and then I will sew from the outside. But I wanna do some embellishing. I'm gonna go ahead and hang ribbons from here. So that's why only a small area right here. Once again, I'm going to clip around the edge here before I turn it inside out. And now we're going to go ahead and turn the hat inside out. All right, the hat's turned inside out. Now we need to press it so it doesn't look lumpy. sew up the back, but a few different options we have at this point. Um, if your little curl here is a little flimsy, you can put a little stuffing in it to hold it up and, and hold it out. That's what I will do with mine. Um, secondly, um, you can decide how you want to finish off your edges. I am going to put some ribbon in here on both sides. You can see. Alright, we have stuffed our little curly cue here. And now we want to sew up the back, but again, because we have a concave edge, we're going to go ahead and clip it, and then pin it, and then sew it closed. As I pin, I'm going to go ahead and put my ribbons in here. And I'll do the same on the other side as well. And now it's time for a little embellishing. I have some buttons. I'm just going to put them probably here on the corners, maybe one or two in front, and call it good. a completed little elf pixie gnome hat. If you enjoyed this tutorial and want to be notified when I make new things and post new tutorials, you can subscribe to this channel. If you are interested in more photo shoot ideas or costume tutorials, you can visit my website, findingstorybookland.com. I also have an Etsy shop if you are interested.